Now, it's not looking likely, Laura. We continue to find out more information about the mismanagement at both ends with this bungle. Of course, now we know that 21 people have died and there have been around 1,000 infections of coronavirus linked to the Ruby Princess cruise ship. The Commissioner, Brett Walker SC, has said uh, yesterday that he drilled New South Wales Health with a staffer taking the stand and becoming emotional during the hearing. Myself and my colleagues at the Public Health Unit were working very hard on this. <clears throat> we did what we could. And if we could do it again, it would be very different. Epidemiologist Kellyanne Ressler also said that New South Wales Health struggled to get the cruise ship giant to cooperate with them. This was something the Commissioner disagreed with. This image you have just given us of little old New South Wales and great big cruise companies, which, if I may say so, sounds both unrealistic and offensive. 2,700 people were allowed to disembark the Ruby Princess cruise ship on the 19th of March when it docked in Sydney. Yesterday, Council Assisting said that there were only 25 COVID-19 testing kits available on board the ship and only 13 of those were actually used. The Special Commission of Inquiry will produce its final report in August. At the moment, all levels of government are under the microscope with various investigations underway.